Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh lease from Miniard. You can notice that this is a 135 skill set and it copies quite an unusual combo I would say because we have German tractor with a cargo trailer. It's a 135 scale combo and frankly speaking, yes, it's written here that two figures included so I was going to say that I'm not sure if figures included but just as usual of your mini art what we see on the box art it is also included into the kit so we have a commercial sample it means nothing will change in case you plan to buy this kit and here you can see comparison with my hand it's a typical box size for this brand we also have short list of the features here and next on the side here we have some safety information and also address of the manufacturer here barcode qr code in case you like to scan such stuff and here we have marking option for this tractor but i truly hope that there will be more included into this kit so we will see it further in this video review and this is a top opening box here it is as you can see all frames are packed together into a single plastic bag we also have assembly manual on the bottom decal sheet is here together with p fret so I'm going to cut through this plastic bag and we will check everything together. In the meantime, I would like to remind you that you can support us with a small donation. It's quite easy thing to do because we have a special button on our website. It's a support DSV button. It's big red button on the right panel. And of course you will be the one deciding how much we will get. But even these small donations matter because they help us to get new kits. Also to save some money for new photo and video equipment. And that actually improves the quality of photo and video reviews. And let us me show you more of these interesting kits. Okay, so I've opened it this plastic bag it's a let's say traditional feature of the mini art and here we have another plastic bag sealed plastic bag so again i'm going to cut through and as you might have noticed we had their clear frame together with decal sheet so first of all i would like to take a look at the decal sheet it's really tiny so we can zoom in as much as we can and still it won't be close so that's why i will show it in my fingers here you can check it it comes from decograph so printing quality looks really good and from what i can see we have at least two marking options if i'm not wrong so we will see it in the assembly manual but I really hope that there are at least two markings included into this kit. Next we continue with a clear frame. You can notice that here we have lenses for headlamps and taillights. They look really great. Obviously masks or masking templates that are not included here. So in case you would like to get a bit more exact paint finish you will have to cut everything with your own hands and tools next we continue with a small envelope with mini art logo this one is usually used for p fret and today's kit is not an exclusion from such rule but we have only one tiny p fret this is frankly speaking really surprising here you can check it closer but still even these tiny parts they will be handy for some fine features so do not be lazy apply them all on your model it will only benefit from such addition and now we can start with a gray plastic spruce so first sprue as far as you can see i won't be zooming out for this frame because it's a narrow long frame so there is no point in showing it in zoomed out version but here you can take a closer look at the parts so as i said all these parts will be used for the trailer as you can see we have also some panels included and they feature some of the wood texture which is really great because it will add some fine features and it will make it a bit more realistic i hope now it's easier to see what i'm showing and here you can check these panels from the opposite side so they're not plain from the opposite side as some manufacturers like to do they're detailed from both ways and that's really great it will contribute to the overall realistic appearance of this kit okay so next we continue with 
another narrow plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to tractor parts and you might notice that here we have some parts for the nose section, let's say, or for the front section. So I would zoom in even further. Here we have the floor panel. As you can see, it features this nice ribbed surface, which asks for some additional weathering in order to get a bit more realistic appearance. Here we continue with the uh, uh, cover for the engine, also various thin parts, and with them you will have to be careful. So use the plastic saw in order to separate them. Do not use plastic cutters. I mean, even the sharpest plastic cutters, they're still tricky to work with such thin parts. So do not, let's say, listen to all this hype about uh, diamond cut cutters. It's better just to use the right tool and avoid any unnecessary embarrassment when you cut half of the part or maybe uh, do it in an opposite way. Okay, next we continue with another narrow plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to drivetrain parts. So again, we can zoom in and here you can take a look at them closer. So obviously these two halves of each will have to be combined together. Here you can see steering wheel. Next we continue with some structural parts. Note also these guiding elements. Again, some parts for the nose area or front why i'm saying nose i'm not sure maybe uh, because of the aircraft but this nose section is also assembled out of separate panels and be sure to apply some weathering on these meshes because it will be visible on your model okay so what is next next we continue with the sprue which is dedicated to box panels so we have boxes included out of the box here it is sorry for repeating the same word but you can see that this is actually a sprue for box assembly and this will be quite a large one which will be placed in the trailer but still it is really cool to get this part and again i can show you this wooden texture as you can see it looks really great and it just asks for some additional weathering and you'll be good to go Okay, next we have one more sprue which is uh, dedicated to the tractor itself. Here we can zoom in a bit and you can see that we have seat part, we also have some parts for the nose or for the front section, we also have some parts for the drivetrain and if I flip it over here you can check them from the opposite side. Again this driver seat might be a good opportunity to um, apply some weathering so that it will be a bit more realistic, let's say worn out seat. Next we have wheel fenders, as you can see they are molded together with this subframe which will be holding them in place and that's really nice molding quality, it's just a matter of careful separation and you have them in a really good looking model. Here you can check them from the opposite side by the way. Okay. Next we continue with road wheels and these ones are supplied on four identical plastic sprues. Why? Because these road wheels will be used for the trailer. So here are the R and now I will pick one sprue closer. So here you can take a look. We have also some features on the tire walls, which is really cool because, well, this is a 2021 outside, so I'm already expecting some features on the tire walls, even on the plastic wheels. And we have some guiding elements inside, which will help you with the alignment of these parts. But as I said, these wheels will be used for the trailer. As for the tractor, we have separate set of wheels. So just give me a second to take out a sprue with wheels for the tractor. But no worries, it is as detailed as what we saw for the trailer. So again, we have some, now let's say, features on the tire walls. And here you have to combine these circles all together in order to get one wheel. Quite an interesting design, but it has, let's say, its own uh, pros and cons. Obviously it is way better than vinyl parts, so definitely spend some time carefully assembling it and you'll be rewarded with a really nice result. But that's not all because 
we also have big wheels on this tractor and here we have slightly more interesting thing because first of all we have pair of these plastic frames here you can take a closer look at one of the wheel sides yes now you should be able to see we have also some features on the tires and inside we have guiding elements in form of this let's say angular edges but that's not all you might ask where is the middle section well middle section is molded as a single piece part so here it is it is supplied obviously in two pieces so basically you have to install only the side walls from both sides and you'll be good to go and just to show you the tire here you can take a closer look it looks good of course you will have to delete this for example molding seam but it's not a serious issue and it should be easy to solve okay next we continue with few drums they are also included out of the box so they are provided in form of pair of sprues so first of all i will show you this one which carries the front and rear sections of the fuel drum we also have this special fuel pump which can be inserted into the drum and they look quite nice here you can check them from the opposite side okay and of course the drums itself uh, the, they should be assembled out of these two halves as you can see they also have separately molded brackets and of course inside we have guiding elements which will help you to align these parts together so I don't think you will have any issues here but that's not all again because I found two more sprues for the fuel drums so basically we get four fuel drums and again that's not all because we have also several boxes on two sprues so here i have to zoom out in order to give you an overall idea of what i'm talking about so you can see that we have these boxes again separated into several panels which should be glued together i don't think it will be a difficult task to do but still it's something to work on and of course they can be placed in the trailer here you can check them from the opposite side okay and one more sprue which is let's say a special bonus is this one with figure parts as you can see we have two figures one of them will be driver as far as i remember so we have him pre-shaped in order to fit onto the tractor and overall design is typical for this scale so there is nothing to worry about it's just a matter of painting these figures so that they look like real guys okay and of course inside as you can guess we do not have anything for guiding help so you will have to do everything on your own i'm not sure why we have this piece of foam it should have protected something but i'm not sure what exactly but that's not all again because we have more parts for the trailer so they come on the final gray plastic sprue here you can see various panels and also the sleeve springs which will be assembled together into one trailer placed in the rear side of the tractor if i flip it over here you can check it from the opposite side again we have nice wooden panels which is really cool they are not plain and they should look a bit more convincing and now we can move on to the assembly manual so here it is i will close the lenses a bit so that it won't be that bright maybe even more and now you can see that here we have a color printed brochure we have short list of the features straight on the cover and i can see that we have decals included two figures I do not see a marking option but here are the marking options so first of all we have a tractor from Luftwaffe as you can see it's uh, marked as a unidentified so basically you can use it for whatever build you would like to and the same goes for this trailer with red wheels and that's actually cool but again you have to find an aircraft in 135 scale which might be a bit more tricky next we continue with the parts map and also colors chart and as usual miniart does not mark any unused parts so be careful and use the right ones maybe i'll reduce the light so that it won't be that bright yes now you should be able to see everything properly 
So, assembly process starts with the drivetrain. Here, as I said, you have to combine various halves together and glue them together between each other. Next, we start working on the engine bay. As you can see, it's just a matter of gluing several panels together. Also, here you have to install the P parts. These are uh, this Lance Bulldog writings on the front and again you are given choice between two versions next we continue with suspension parts for the rear side actually these are not suspension parts these are pedals for the driver and also we assemble the driver's seat together with the four panel next we install the rear bar and here actually we start working on the suspension parts that's the front mask with headlamps and then we assemble road wheels as you can see front and rear next we continue with steering wheel and some minor elements here and there so do not forget to install them and that's pretty much whole assembly process for the tractor because next we start working on the trailer trailer should be relatively easy as well even though parts count might look impressive still it's easy thing to assemble as you can see we have rotatable frontal section just like on the rear trailer then we combine various panels together as far as you can see oh so we do have a open version or a closed version this is also a handy feature for diorama ideas next we assemble a few drums and wooden boxes which can be placed in the trailer as i said before here you can see also the marking guide and assembly manual for the figures and here is another marking option this one comes from eastern front as you can see a slightly different camouflage a completely dark trailer so it might be interesting for other build let's say and here we have uh, them combined together so that you can let's say compare which one to pick but all in all we get a really interesting combo in 135 scale that's definitely a good opportunity to build some diorama maybe even combine it with other model as i said before of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye